Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. FIFA Freeze is here today. We're going to talk about the new promo that's coming today. We're going to talk about icon swaps, a new team in packs, the uh, SBCs that we're going to be getting, as well as a Bruno Player of the Month SBC, Road to the Final upgrades that should be happening soon, and some Footwatch code that came out tonight, some tweets from Footwatch. There are some big packs coming as a part of this Icon Swaps set, and a lot of the market is moving because of it. So we're going to talk a lot about that today on the video. First things first, though, I want to cover the promo that is coming today, and that is FIFA Ultimate Team Freeze. Let's take a look at the loading screen that was dropped earlier today. Now, this loading screen has been removed, basically, and we have another one behind it now telling us information about Icon Swaps. But... This is the official car design, which I'm a huge fan of. That cracked ice look looks really, really dope to me with the ice around the edges. I love it. Uh, and we learned a lot from this loading screen as well for today. We will be getting a new team in packs. Now, I don't know exactly what these cards are going to look like, what the upgrades are going to be, what the requirements are going to be for this promo. It looks like, honestly, just another reason uh, for EA to put special cards into packs and to sell some packs is what this is right here with a new FIFA Freeze team that it will be out. Looks like we're going to have one player SBC per day as well. So a lot of people are unhappy with this because this kind of replaces Footmas, honestly, what it seems, right? And Footmas was always a promo where we were getting two or three SBCs per day, player SBCs. Uh, all I say is this. I'm okay, I guess, with this because um, hopefully that means that the player SBC that we get every day should be hopefully decent value. Now, during Footmas of years past, three SBCs every day was cool for card collecting, but usually, you know, only one of those SBCs was somewhat worth it or it was good value, right? And the other ones were always just very expensive and overpriced. So hopefully that the SBCs we will be getting will be decent value, probably getting, um, it might not be like a foot freeze item every day. It might be some flashbacks, um, might be some Champions League flashbacks, possibly, who knows? So we will see what that happens, but we will get one player SPC every day and one puzzle SPC every day, possibly for some packs of some kind. And then icon swaps is going to be a part of this FIFA freeze promo as well. One of the things I'm the most interested in is how long does this promo go? We're going to find out today, of course, but I'm curious to see how long that it goes. I'm not going to talk about icon swaps just yet. I want to talk about more of this FIFA free stuff. How could just the FIFA freeze promo team and the player SBCs impact the market today at all? Now, of course, you guys know that we have just had a team in packs called Team of the Group Stage cards, very high pack weight. Last year, right after Team of the Group Stage, we had Team of the Year nominees, which also had a very high pack weight. I don't expect these to be Team of the Year related at all, um, but... It's going to be interesting to see, as, as it always is with a new promo team, right? When we got all these players last week, you had other players that have other cards on the market that were impacted, right? This Kimmich, right? Kimmich got a 90-rated team in the group stage. His Inform card was 135,000 coins before this came out. Of course, now the Inform is down under 100K because of that new card coming out, right? So we always have market movements like that every single Friday when a new team of promo cards comes into packs. That's going to impact other stuff on the market because it's basically it is substitute and complementary uh, goods or cards, if that makes sense to you guys, those terms, if you know what those mean. Uh, some, some cards that come out will replace a card that people already use or it will link to a card that people already use a lot and it will cause some link investments to go up. So, of course, we have a new team coming to PAX today, so that's going to be something to monitor. I do think you are going to see panic selling this morning on a lot of very you know, popular players that are in this game, a lot of informs. Some of the current team of the week and, you know, other cards are already down a little bit. Um, some of these team of the group stages are getting sold off a little bit too. Um, some of the golds are, are dropping a bit. So I would expect to see panic selling in the morning on icons as well. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, but I think you can keep an eye on your out of packs informs and your rule breakers, your record breakers. Um, Road to the finals we'll talk about in a minute too. Um, but I think you can keep an eye on those for a rebound because a lot of what we're going to talk about today, as long as EA does not release like a repeatable mid base or whatever icon SPC, I don't expect the market to really like crash a ton. Yes, it's a lot of content, but icon swaps is all untradeable content that is grind through objectives and stuff that you can't attain like this, like you can't through an SBC. So I think that part of the market today, you will see a rebound on some of the meta stuff that does get panic sold. 
just because people need to buy things back to play weekend league. So that's going to be on our minds today as well. Now, obviously, team of the group stage is ending at 6 p.m. today. These cards are going to go out of packs. Um, other things that are going to happen today right off the bat. We are going to see uh, a Bruno Fernandez. I think it's going to be Bruno Fernandez, player of the month SBC coming out today. All right. Um, the Sun SBC, I think, expires very soon. It's Friday. It's, it's player of the month Friday, first Friday of the month. Well, after the voting had started, first Friday of the month, uh, after the voting ended, actually. So Bruno player of the month should be coming out today. Now, how expensive should that be? Now, I know the Bruno card right now on the market is like 820,000 coins. It's close to 800K on both consoles. And a lot of people are hoping that this SBC um, will, you know, come in right around that range. Now, with SBC fodder being in the place that it is, it was low, but now it's starting to rise up because of some pack code. I'm really curious to see where EA values this SBC at. Player of the Month this year so far have really not been that great of value. If you kind of look across the board, Joao Felix is like one of the best value Player of the Months that we've had all year. So I'm not sure if I really expect Bruno to be that much, you know, under 800K today, maybe like 750. Uh, I think it's going to be a 90 rated card and that will be released before the content drop. So we might see more SBC fodder movements. I also think that this card right here is maybe a bit lower, uh, not panic sold, but you know, people are waiting for the player of the month to come out to see if it's 90 or 91 rated before buying this card. If the SBC price is like more than this, then I would expect to see this card rise up because a lot of people want to use this card. So we'll keep that in mind for today as well. You might see a bounce on this in the uh, scenario that EA releases Bruno player of the month and it's really cheap. Then you might see this drop because people just go to the player of the month. I don't think that's very likely though um, because SBC fodder is one thing that we need to talk about and it is on the rise after some tweets that were released just a little bit ago by Footwatch. And I want to take a look at these tweets because these are big, right? So with foot with icon swaps coming, right? We'll take we'll talk icon swaps as well. This is the loading screen that is out right now. We're getting six icons and pack rewards available in icon swap set one. So right off the bat, we think, wow, six icons. That's like nothing. That's not a lot. What's up with that? Well, I wonder if they're going to make the time period for icon swaps a lot shorter than what they have had in the past. We might not have just three icon swaps this year. We might have more than that since there's even more icons that are out in the game this year. They gave us a teaser for these icons, right? We have a 90 rated, 87 physical, 90 shot, 90 defense, a center attacking mid, and a Dutch flag. So there's a lot of possibilities here with these cards. Um, so of course, we can get speculative. We can kind of figure out who these might be. It's the first icon swaps. One thing I do want to say though is I think there will be prime icons involved today, and this is why I think so. If we take a look uh, at this tweet here by Footwatch, um, right here, earlier today, EA updated this code in the game. It was for Davor Suker, right? Now, of course, Suker already has, uh, and where where this uh, language and where this verbiage is going to go is, um, on every single icon in FIFA, as I'll show you right now, every icon has a a story, right? If you right click on the card, you can go to the icon profile and there's a story that is listed there for that icon. Honestly, what this looks like to me is this is the icon description for the story of Prime Suker because obviously Primes have been searchable on the market, right? Inside the transfer market, uh, but they're not actually out yet, of course, right? So 90 Suker, I think the reason why they had to upgrade, update this in the code is they're going to put this guy out in the game and they have to have his story, you know, show up under his name. Uh, and I think he's going to be an icon swap today. That's why I think they put that out. And if you technically look at the code or look at the loading screen, there is a 90 rated card option that is in here. Now, other people are looking at this first card and seeing 90 shooting and thinking that it's going to be mid Suker. That's why you see Suker and Essien, um, a lot of other icons. Uh, kind of getting very high up and popular in this list. This list, I think Baby Essien is the top pick for the 87 physical card. So if we're getting Prime Suker and Baby Essien, those aren't too bad of choices right there off the bat for some of our first icon swaps. That could be kind of a W. So we'll definitely watch out for that. But let's talk about these pack rewards because there were some big time tweets again by Footwatch tonight. Base or mid icon pack, mid or prime icon pack, one prime icon uh, and a mid icon 89 plus or higher. 
Now, what in the world are these packs? I think, honestly, boys, that these packs are not going to be released as SBCs yet. All right. I think these are purely icon swap packs because they're getting released tonight. Now, the market right now in terms of SBC fodder is going crazy. People are buying SBC cards right, left, and center. Check this out. The 86 market has just boomed since this came out. We're from 223 points up to 229 and i think it keeps going if i'm being completely honest if we look at some of the cheapest players by rating you've got 88s that are at 35,000 coins that were just at 31,000 coins 89s are up 87s were 22k bernardo silva was 22,000 coins he's now over 25k so a lot of people are investing in fodder right now because i think they're expecting these these to be sbcs and for these to come out in packs i don't think that's going to be the case with these items Today, I think this is going to be all icon swap related. And that's maybe since we're only getting six icons, there's maybe going to be five or six pack rewards. So that could get very, very interesting today with the amount of pack rewards available from icon swaps, depending on the amount of tokens we have and stuff like that. That's going to be very interesting to keep an eye on. And a big pack that they released today that a lot of people were very interested in. 85 plus rare players five pack so five rare players 85 plus or above and then an 83 plus pack with 25 25 rare gold players 83 or above now this is a typo uh foot watch corrected they said the the code was fixed it was not actually 25 players rare golds above 85 it's only for the 83 plus that we have a 25 83 plus pack that's still ridiculous can you think about the 83 plus packs in the game and you have like an 25 to choose from, uh, like opening that kind of pack during team of the season or team of the year, if that pack is going to be available during that time frame, would be kind of cracked out, would be kind of cracked out in my opinion. So that's kind of a crazy pack, especially during team of the season, man. You, all the special cards that are in packs, that'd be crazy. Um, but I feel like this might be a, this is this pack right here, like an 83 plus 25 players pack. It's crazy to think about, but that is a, literally a club stock in a pack. All right. You're probably going to get 86, maybe 84, 85s, some 83s, but that's like a club stock in a pack, which is pretty nuts. Um, so I think that's going to be a part of icon swaps as well, unless it's going to be like a daily SBC and, and that'd be crazy if it was, but honestly, right now with SBC fodder on the horizon, on the horizon, on the rise. Um, we were talking about this live on stream just a little bit ago. Uh, Bernardo Silva went from 22,000 coins and is all the way up to 25,500 coins. He's even more than that. He's up to 26K at the moment, it looks like. Yeah, 26K for Bernardo Silva. If I'm you guys, of course, we have Bruno Fernandez coming this morning. The SBC should be out pre 6 p.m. If you bought fodder tonight on the release, I honestly think that you're selling pre 6 p.m. because I think what's going to happen is everybody's buying up this SBC fodder, but these packs aren't actually going to be released through SBCs. I honestly think these packs are just going to be released through icon swaps and all the people that bought fodder today. Yes, I was recommending to buy fodder because it was low, but now with it getting invested in and getting bumped up, if you bought fodder yesterday, you're chilling, right? You're feeling good because you're already making coins. And especially with all these SBCs coming, like Bruno, um, an SBC every single day for the freeze promo, you're feeling pretty good about it. But this whole code and things being put into this game and people investing right now is making that a, a bit sketchy. So if you bought fodder tonight, if you want to do a quick flip, like if you bought it when the code was released, especially on the high rated fodder, the only thing that would make this stuff really go up a lot is if they did release a repeatable or a some sort of SBC for a base icon and mid icon or for any of those packs they put in the code tonight. I don't expect to see any of them as an SBC. I think they'll all be in swaps, but I guess that is a possibility. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, and you know, maybe the safe route is, you know what you bought, um, let's say like cruise, literally cruise tonight was 21,000 coins, sorry, 31,000 coins. And now he's up over 35. So if you bought these at 31 and you can sell them at 35 today in the hype, go for it, right? Especially after Bruno comes out, he might require some higher rated squads. People might start working on that, a little bit of extra demand there, and you sell those into the content drop if you wanna be safe. Now, if you wanna hold on to it and risk it for the biscuit, be my guest, but you really need a big repeatable or an icon SBC to come out today to make that stuff continue going. So if you bought earlier though, you're feeling good, you're looking good, because the stuff is starting to rise because of that uh, content that has been released. So. 
that is that. Uh, just general market thoughts for tomorrow. I think we are going to see a nice market rise uh, after the content drop because, again, icon swaps, uh, and we're going to talk about road to the finals right now. Icon swaps, um, they don't impact the market in a sense that, um, you know, a lot of stuff is going to get supplied, right? All the icon swap stuff is untradeable, right? Um, the icons that you get from completing the objectives and the swaps, you get them untradeable. There's no like tradable packs even from the rewards. So a lot of what you might see today, not tomorrow, on Friday today is panic selling on icons. You might see some icons like the Sukera, of course, because people are thinking this 87 gets in. He's dropped from like 640K today. He's down at 575. Wow, this guy is dropping at the moment like a rock. Now, if he if it's the prime that gets in, I think this card probably rebounds because this is the best available Sukera that is available on the market. And if you're going to do icon swaps for the prime, you're not going to be able to get him right away. So watch the panic selling on icons specifically this morning because nobody's going to be getting those icon swap cards from icons right away, right? If they want to play weekend league with one of those cards still, the people that are panic selling Sukera, we're probably going to use them in weekend league this weekend. Now they're selling him because they think he's going to be able to be attained untradeable, but you're still not going to be getting, getting him within a day or two. So I do think you're going to see bounce back on icons today. The ones that do get panic sold, definitely keep an eye out on the icon market for sure for that panic selling and be able to, you know, if you want one for your team, I think you will see a buy opportunity and then a rebound after the panic selling ends. Because again, a lot of these icons are very rare. A lot of these are very rare. You know, baby Etienne was around a mil, I think. Is he still there or is he dropping underneath? 980. So we'll watch these, right? I think there was an open bid listing there too. Uh, maybe not, but um, just watch the panics on these cards. And I do think they will rebound because they're icons. People want to use them in Weekend League. And, um, you know, you can't get these icons from swaps like right away. It takes a bit of time. So those are kind of my thoughts on the panic selling with icons today. Other meta cards, you know, your out of packs in forms, your, your uh, record breakers, your rule breakers. I feel good about buying those in the panic today as well. I do think there will be a nice market rise just because, again, people have to play the weekend league. Now, some point either tonight late or tomorrow on Friday, we should be getting road to the final upgrades. And a lot of these cards, they might bounce when they get the upgrade uh, for a hot second. You know, if the card was possibly undervalued before or if there's a lot of hype for that card, you know, um, some of these guys might bounce. But overall... I'm feeling like all of these cards, 90% of them are going to drop once the upgrades come out. Because right now, I feel I still feel like a lot of these are overpriced for the state of the game right now with the game being kind of dead as it is. And the amount these guys have risen, I know they're rare, I get it. But I feel like these guys, most of them dropped today just from that panic. Now, of course, there were some crazy fluctuations today with the Europa League. You had guys like Kula Bali who were 480. He went down to 430. Now he's back to 460. You had Port 2 who was 160. Then Napoli scored on Sociedad. He went to 120. Now he's back to 190. Uh, so a lot of these cards, I think, are going to drop after they get the upgrade. Again, because Champions League is not until February. So if you still have any of these, you might want to cash out on them. It's going to be fun to watch these cards fluctuate. It honestly is. And to see the upgrades and to see how EA juices them. So be on the lookout for that. That could happen anytime in the next 24 to 48 hours, but it should happen pretty soon because all the games are done and all, EA knows which cards they, they need to, um, they need to upgrade. So all those spots have been secured, I do believe. But that's kind of the day, boys. That uh, Foot freeze is here. Icon swaps, again, is what a lot of people are looking at and watching out for. So it's another promo Friday, man. Uh, good luck if you're opening packs, as always. And again, just a quick side note. This is going to be my last video sitting here at the usual setup for a little while. I am going on a little vacation with the family, and I'm going to be gone for about a week or so. I'm not going to stop uploading. I'm going to be uploading from my phone. Might not be every day. It might be every other day. We'll see. Uh, I need to figure some things out related to that. But um, you'll still see uploads from me. It'll just be different, right? I'll be on the companion app. I'll be talking over it using Footbin and Twitter and stuff like that to make those videos. So... Uh, just a heads up there. You won't be seeing me here at the setup for about a week or so. So just in case you were wondering, where the heck did this guy go? That's where I went. So uh, I'll be here, boys. Don't worry. Check me out on Twitter below in the description as well. And we have a pretty cool announcement coming up. I already shared it with the, the Twitch stream tonight. Uh, we're going to have a little creator code sort of thing going on with a really cool website. I'll be sharing that with you guys pretty soon 
as well in the YouTube videos and in the comments down below in the description uh, when that gets finalized uh, a little bit later. So if you enjoyed this one today, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions or who you think these icon swap cards are. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate Devote Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.